Hey everyone, it's Gabby. So, uh, I was looking on YouTube and I found these videos called the One Brush Challenge. And I'm just like, I mean, I'm not a big person of challenges because I'm always afraid of what the ch they'll turn out like. But I mean, this one seems kind of easy in a way. I don't know, but I guess it might be fun, so I'm going to try it. Let's get to it. Okay, so the brush I'm going to be using is this flat head contour one. I don't know if you're seeing this, but there's like a lot of powder coming off. Like, cause I, I use this one to contour, except the contour palette I have is terrible. It's just like this $5 one I, I got at Marshalls. And it doesn't blend at all. Like it just sticks on your face. And I hate it because like, I, I want to like try to move it around, but all you see is just a big line across your face. Yeah, I'm going to use this flat head contour one by Soho. I think it's pretty easy. I mean, look like kind of like skinny, flat. I can do my eyebrows, get eyeshadow, try to try to do foundation, lips, eyeliner. I'm totally kidding. Not eyeliner. Not doing eyeliner. Maybe mascara. Maybe. So let's do this. So first, I'm going to apply my primer. For primer, I'm using this Pore Minimizer by Mary Kay. Just like a little sample, but it lasts a really long time. Wait, I'm just applying with my hands. I mean, my hand's not a brush, and I only apply it in certain places. Where like I have my pores. Okay, I'm gonna apply it all around my face. And like this really does minimize your pores because I've noticed when I apply foundation before this, you see a little, little mini bumps everywhere because my pores and with this it looks kind of flat but as it dry now I'm gonna add foundation using the brush and for foundation I'm using this time wise matte wear liquid foundation it's um build up coverage so you can build it up and not look so cake face or feel heavy but I just, I just use a thin layer of it because I just use it for like, you know, the foundation of my makeup. And I'm in the shade Beige 5. My mom is Beige 6, but like, she's lighter than me. So I don't know if I have the wrong shade. Maybe I'll just like switch out my, my foundation and her foundation one day. So I just add it to my brush. I need to bring it on here. So this viewfinder is really tiny. My gosh, I'm actually really scared. It has my little travel mirror right here, connecting it to its stand. Wish me luck, guys. You know, I'm gonna apply with my hands and just blend it out with the brush, honestly. So yeah, the, my bottle's almost finished. I mean, it actually kind of helps for like getting your foundation over here where like your beauty blender or applying brush doesn't get it. I mean, for applying brushes, I use the second brush I, I got for my birthday in the Soho kit. I'll show it to you, right? Let me just finish spreading. Okay, nothing is happening. It's not blending in. It's just spreading. Lord helped us all. You can literally see the, the spots where like this thing like won't. Okay, so I actually got this new beauty sponge at Marshalls and I hate it. It's already ripping and I got it and I've used it once. Oh man, guys, that's it. I mean, it's already dried. So yeah, the brush I normally use to apply foundation is actually kind of dirty right now because I haven't, I barely cleaned it yesterday and then I used it so it was dirty again. It's just this one by Soho. I should probably clean this. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I brought back my mom's brush cleaner. So I'm just going to spray it onto my brush. Where's the end? Oh, it's a cap. It's a cap. <laughs> so yeah, I just spray it on. Oh, me. 
Okay, so I've cleaned it enough. So now let's go ahead and apply eyebrows. I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade because I can just dip my brush in it. Wish me luck. Okay, so I got some product right there on my brush. Let's do this. What is this? God save the queen. For real. I mean, it's not bad. It's really bad. It's really bad. But I mean, it's just really dark as well. Yeah. Is you at two keys? Other eyebrow. Who won't fuck you over? Wanna fuck you over? And again, the truth is, I. This one isn't as dark as the other one. This one actually turned out pretty good. Well, sort of. Not really. Let me just uh, get out. Fix the arc. Wanna get into it? Why you stressing? And there you go, I've done my eyebrows. That, that part was actually kind of lame, because I mean, it kind of really worked out, because my eyebrows are sort of thick. Yeah. Okay, so he, who here is not excited for back to school? Because I know I am not excited for back to school. The only, thing, the only part I'm ex excited about is back to school shopping, because I love to shop. I shop, and I shop, and I shop all the time. Now I'm gonna apply highlight. So for highlight, I'm gonna be using this Rose Illuminator by Bella Pierre Cosmetics. It, their brand is like mostly mineral cosmetics, so it gets kind of annoying. So I just get my little palette over here, and I just dump some of this mineral on it. Get it on my brush. Oh, I applied that one way too far down. Blend, 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 blend. Oh, I applied it too far down. What the heck? Is there really like a straight line across my face? Ah. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with me? And don't think this is just happening because of this challenge. This is what happens every single time I do my makeup. Something like this always happens. Brush. Clean. It smells so much like rubbing alcohol. Okay, so now we're gonna apply blush. I actually have two blushes. First, I have this illuminating blush by Laura Geller. Yeah, just looks like that. Like kind of like highlight, but mostly pink highlight. I shut them down. It's mommy, I'm needing it. Got that. And the next one I'm going to apply is this mellow one in the shade bronze. It's not a bronzer, it's a blush. It's just, I mean, bronzers are brown. This is really orange. So, it's a blush. Ow. Just apply that one on top. So now that I've done that, I'm going to apply... I'm going to apply... What am I going to apply? Oh, I forgot to apply eyeshadow. Let's do this. Before I apply eyeshadow, I'm going to... Can I moisturize my lips before I add let me just lipstick? I'm gonna take this Ipsy NYX palette that I got in Ipsy Bag and I love it so much. This is my second one actually because my mom got the same one in hers and I took hers because she hasn't used it. And I finished mine already because that's how much I love it. Girl, I'm gonna use this and put it on my face. Like, I really don't do much for my eyeshadow. I literally just, I don't go all extravagant and smoky eye. I just do like a little color so that it brings out my eyes. So it looks like my eyes are just like stuck to my skin and I don't have like any eyelids or all that. I do it so that my eyes kind of pop out. Oh, I think I got some black on there. Oh so yeah, as I've done that, you got want to apply a mascara. I'm going to be using this. Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara, and since the thing in here is technically a brush, we're gonna use this one. Oh gosh, I'm so not prepared to add mascara with a contour brush. What? Yeah, let's just do this part. I'll, I'll play up here so you can see this. Don't cry. You just hate it when you get mascara in your eye, and then you feel like you have to cry. But you know when you cry, you're gonna ruin your eyeshadow, your mascara, your eyeliner, your foundation, your concealer. 
and just like, nope, I'm not gonna do this. Keep back the tears. Okay. Don't cry, Gabby, don't cry. You can't see anything yet. I need to apply more. Second layer. I used to only apply one layer of mascara, but then like I found out you're supposed to apply more than one to have more eyebrows. So yeah, let's zoom in. There we go. Okay. Why am I using the viewfinder again? Oh, don't cry at me. Great. I did this. I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. <laughs> that is so ugly. What the heck? Why did I do that? What the heck? I... Oh my gosh. Help me. I don't know what to do. Difficult time right now. No one understands this but me. What did I do? It was turning out so well. Okay, so now that that passed by and I can finally open my eyes now, we're gonna skip mascara. Cause it's already all over my face. You guys better subscribe to me after the pain I just went through. Now that that's clean of rubbing alcohol. And <laughs> there was actually a time in my life when every time I went to school I would come back looking like this. I'm actually gonna apply my NYX liquid suede lipstick. It's a cream lipstick, which I love because matte is usually really drying. And this was only like semi-matte, but it stays on for a really long time. If you hear a sound in the background, it's because my mom's boyfriend is vacuuming right now. Like, I'm trying to make a YouTube video. I mean, I think I'm finished. Am I missing any? I am missing eyeliner, but I'm not going to do that. Or should I? Let's just do eyeliner. I'm going to do eyeliner, guys. Eyeliner. Let's do this. I mean, we're already here. Why not? I already went through a lot of pain in this video. Why not? We're gonna apply eyeliner. So the eyeliner I'm gonna use is, where is it? Ice. Back there. This is Wet n Wild Felt Tip Eyeliner. I love it. I mean, it's not really like matte drying finish. It's like a little glossy kind of finish, but I, li I like it. And it's not waterproof at all. Let's hope this works out. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna paint it onto my brush. Okay, it has like a little smoky eye finish. Of course, you have to connect it. Other side. This one not as cute, but we did it. Glowy Seymour, we did it. Na 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 na. And yeah, that is all I think. Unless I have something else, which I really hope I don't at this point. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. I know I'm not perfect at makeup, but uh huh, I tried. Bye, YouTube.